So today we consider a reproduction in flowering plant, and that too only sexual reproduction. So because we have considered a sexual mode of reproduction in the previous chapter, that reproduction in the primitive organism or organism. So here only we consider a sexual reproduction in flowering plant. So today we call flowering plant are only angiosperm because in evolution while having algae, bryophyte, keratophyte, gymnosperm and angiosperm. So angiosperm is the only plant which has specialized reproductive part which we call flower. And for performing sexual reproduction, plants need an organ which we call flower. So there are several other organs. जैसे कि अपन पहले अदर ऑर्गन मीन्स रूट स्टेम लीव फ्लावर फ्रूट एंड सीड सो बिसाइड दैट देर इज अ मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन विच वी कॉल स्पेशलाइज रिप्रोडक्टिव एंड फ्लॉर इज कंसिडर एज हाईली मॉडिफाइड एंड कंडेन्स रिप्रोडक्टिव शू फ्लॉर इज हाईली मॉडिफाइड एंड कंडेन्स रिप्रोडक्टिव शू सो इट इज हाईली मॉडिफाइड सो असा हा एनजीओस्पमिक प्लांट का सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन करना सा इसेन्शियल पार्ट मे फ्लॉर सो फ्लॉर हा मॉडिफाइड है सो मॉडिफाइड है तो इतर पार्ट जस इवोल्यूशन प्रकार जस तू एनजीओस्पम मे आला तो इन दैट केस इट वॉज हाईली मॉडिफाइड तो अच्छा फ्लॉर से अपने पार्ट कन्सिडर कराए फ्लॉर हा फ्लॉर च स्ट्रक्चर बढ़ाए कारण इफ यू नीड टू कन्सिडर सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड रिप्रोडक्शन बिकम्स अ एबिलिटी ऑफ अ ऑर्गेनिजम टू प्रोड्यूस इट्स ओन काइंड ऑर्गेनिजम ज्या प्रकार ऑर्गेनिजम है तो प्रकार ऑर्गेनिजम तैयार करना सा तो जो तैयार करू शो तो रिप्रोडक्शन री प्रोडक्शन प्रोडक्शन प्रीवियस सारे प्रोडक्शन करने दैट इज कॉल रिप्रोडक्शन ही एक ऑर्गेनिजम भेटने की एबिलिटी है सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन मीन्स द रिप्रोडक्शन इन विच देर इज अ फॉर्मेशन एंड फ्यूजन ऑफ द वेट सो दैट रिप्रोडक्शन रिकॉर्ड इट एज अ सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एनजीओ स्पमला करना सा आवश्यक है एक पार्ट ज्यादा फ्लॉर सो फ्लॉर हेज थ्री पार्ट सो मेनली वी कंसिडर फ्लॉर हेज थ्री पार्ट दैट इज पेडिसिंग और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड रिसेप्टैकल देन देर इज एलेमस एंड फ्लोरल होल सो फ्लॉर ली तीन पार्ट है पेडिसिंग देन एलेमस एंड फ्लोरल So pedicel is nothing but a stalk of flower. Likewise, there is a presence of pedicel, and then there is a condensed part. Why we call this part thalamus as a condensed one? Because initially thalamus has a long and elongated aslasta. We call it as a flower la on that matter the condensed reproductive shoot. So half part, yalla asya node ani inter node hai. It has four nodes and three inter nodes. It has four nodes and three inter nodes. आता या पार्ट ला फोर नोड्स है आणि ती एक नोड सेकंड नोड थर्ड नोड एंड फोर्थ नोड सो चार नोड आणि तीन इंटर नोड आहेत याला तर याला जेव्हा आपण कंडेन्स करतो सपोज लाईक वाईज हा असा पार्ट आहे याला चार नोड आहेत आणि याला कंडेन्स केलं तर कंडेन्स केलं तर आपल्याला तो असा येणार म्हणजे असा येणार झाले इथे एक नोड येणार इमिडिएटली सेकंड नोड इमिडिएटली थर्ड नोड आणि इमिडिएटली सो दॅट्स वाय वी कॉल थॅलॅमस एज अ कंडेन्स अदरवाईज थॅलॅमस हा असा इलॉंगेटेड राहत असता तर याचे इंटर नोड डिस्टन्स जास्त राहत असत आणि तुमचे फ्लोरल होल म्हणजे जसं की या ठिकाणी गायनोसियम आला असता इथं अँड्रोसियम आला असता इकडे कॅलिक्स आला असता आणि या ठिकाणी फोर आला असता आपण याला कंडेन्स केलं त्यामुळे फ्लॉर मध्ये हे सर्व पार्ट एकाच ठिकाणी ऑर्गनाइज झाले दिसतात आणि दॅट पार्ट बी पार्ट इट एज अ थॅलॅमस सो देअर इट इज अ पेडिसिन विच इज कॉल्ड स्टॉक ऑफ फ्लॉर टू रेज द फ्लॉर अँड देन देअर इज अ थॅलॅमस सो थॅलॅमस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड रिसेप्टॅकल ऑल्सो Thalamus is also considered as receptacle, and on the thalamus there is the presence of floral hole. So there are four floral holes. So flower has four floral holes. So among that, the lowermost floral hole, which is called a calyx, and the individual member of calyx is called sepal. So the lowermost floral hole, which is green, and Its individual member is called sepals. 
So inside that sepal there is the presence of another floral host that we called it as a petal. So this is here we can call it as a corolla. An individual member of corolla is called petal, which is colorful, fragrant, and which is mean for attracting the pollinating agent. And inner to the corolla, there is the presence of androsium. Inner to corolla, there is the presence of androsium. So this floral root is called androsium. And andro individual member of androsium is called stamen, which is considered as a male reproductive floral root. And the innermost floral hole is gynosium. So this gynosium is innermost floral hole and individual member of gynosium is called carpel. Gynosium or pistil and the individual member of gynosium is called carpel. So these are the four floral holes of flower. Among these four floral holes, among these four floral holes, Two floral holes are considered as essential one and two are called non-essential one. So we consider the outer two that is calyx and corolla as accessory. Accessory floral hole. So calyx and corolla are considered as accessory floral hole and here androsium and gynosium both these are considered as essential they are called essential or we can call them as a reproductive floral hole they are considered as reproductive floral hole or we call them as an essential floral hole because androsium and gynosium androsium and gynosium are actually taking part in sexual reproduction. So here calyx and uh, corolla they are mean to have protection. Corolla is being a green in color will have photosynthesis also it is outermost floral hole and sorry calyx is green and corolla is colorful which is mean for attracting the pollinating agent flower becomes attractive and conspicuous because of the size and color of the corolla. So that's why we call calyx and corolla as the accessory one and androsium and gynosium as the essential one. Because androsium is a male reproductive organ which is going to produce male gametes and gynosium is a female reproductive organ which is going to produce female gametes. So that's why we call androsium and gynosium as the essential or reproductive flower. As they are essential and reproductive, so their placement inside a flower is, in a flower is inner. And both these, so calyx and corolla, they are accessory floral. So they will be placed on outer side for protection, these two important and essential floral holes. So here your androsium and gynosium, they will be considered as essential floral hole. Now we will consider two essential floral holes in detail. So first we see androsium and the individual member of androsium is called Stamen. And this is actual structure of androsium. So this androsium has three parts. That is filament, anther, and here there is the presence of connective. And this filament is considered as a fertile part of androsium. Uh, sorry, this anther is considered as fertile part of androsium. So this anther has, we we'll see here, this anther has two lobes. Here, the first lobe and the second lobe. Anther has two lobes, so we call this as a diathetal. We call it as a diathetal. If this anther would have only one lobe, then we call it as a monothetal. If there is a two lobe, then it is called diathetal. If there is a one lobe, then we call it as a monothetal. Theca means lobe. Theca is a lobe. So the anther la, 
दोन लोक असतील तर मी कन्सिडर करेल नाही तर एकच अँथर जर अँथरला एकच लोक असेल तर मी कॉल इट एज अ मोनोसिटिक अँथर सो हिअर अँथर इज दॅट This part is a long and elongated. This part is called filament. So, the part of filament will remain attached to the, or the a, a one end of filament will remain attached to the thalamus, and the other end will remain attached to the your anther. So, as our anther has two lobes, so each lobe has two sacs. Each lobe has two sacs. So, if your anther is diaphragmatic. So definitely it will have four pollen sac or microsporangia, and so we call anther as a tetra sporangia. We call this anther as a tetra sporangia. So anther is diaphragmatic because it has two lobes, and anther is called tetra sporangia because it has four microsporangia or pollen sac or pollen chamber. Now we consider. Another floral hole, essential floral hole, that is gynoecium. So this gynoecium also has three parts. That is ovary. Then there is a style and stigma. So this stigma is considered as the receptive part. Pain and turbid base pollen grain will be deposited on the stigma. So we call stigma as the receptive. And then there is a long Elongated tube or siphon-like structure, we call it as a style. And here there is a ovary. This ovary is considered as fertile part of gynoecium because inside ovary there is the presence of ovule. And here inside ovule there will be formation of female gametophyte. So that's why we call ovary as a fertile part of gynoecium. So this is fertile part of gynoecium. Inside that ovary there is the presence of ovule. So, gynoecium, female reproductive part, or gynoecium, has three parts. That is ovary, style, and stigma. So, this ovary is considered as fertile part. Here, we have male reproductive organ. That is androecium, and individual member of androecium is called stamen. Here, there is a gynoecium. Individual member of gynoecium is called carpel. Gynoecium is also considered as pistil. But its individual member is called carpel. So here, anther is considered as fertile part of androecium, and ovary is considered as fertile part of gynoecium. So we are aware now that for performing sexual reproduction for angiosperm or flowering plants, they need to have a part, a vital part that is flower, and inside a flower. There is a need of androecium and gynoecium. These two are essential floral holes. If they are present, then only your flower will be, or rather, flower will be able to produce or uh, have sexual reproduction. Apply करने कहीं flower अच्छा आता कि जो unisexual आता है, मतलब जहाँ flower में फक्त एक androecium है, so we call that flower as a male flower. जहाँ क्या flower में फक्त gynoecium है, then we call that flower as a female flower. And if there is a flower में only floral hole is the androecium and gynoecium. So then, in that case, we call this flower as a bisexual flower. So plant la unisexual flower is that the plant la bisexual flower is that the that. So we have uh, consider monoecious plant and dioecious plant in sexual reproduction in morphology of flowering plant. 